Obama is coming out for Joe Biden and swinging. Well, they're swinging in tandem against Donald Trump. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, I looked at the polls. The polls made Biden look like he's well out of head. Yeah. Believing in polls is like believing in fairy tales, Johnson. You going to trust a poll? I don't trust polls. Um, and definitely not, in, you know, in presidential politics. They just, they just swing wildly. I mean, hell, I'm looking at what happened in Kentucky. Booker should have destroyed fake, uh, you know, Amy Klobuchar from whatever her name is. I forget. McGrath. He should have destroyed. She, he had a 50 points to one or something favorites in Kentucky there to take on Mitch McConnell. And somehow, somehow, some way, it didn't happen. So then miss me with the whole uh, Biden so up far in the polls. Well, if he's up in the polls or not, it doesn't appear that Joe Biden is listening to him, and neither does neither is Barack Obama, because Barack Obama have teamed up to drop an anvil on Donald Trump. Can you imagine standing up when you're in prison and saying, it's not my responsibility? I take no responsibility. It's not, I mean, that, I mean, literally. That, that, literally. Those words didn't come out of our mouths no, while we were no. in office. I don't understand his inability to get a sense of what people are going through. He just can't, he can't relate in any way. Well, and one of the things that I have always known about you, Joe, it's the reason why I wanted you to be my vice president and the reason why you were so effective. It all starts with being able to relate. If, if, if you can sit down with a family and see your own family in them and the struggles that you've gone through or your parents went through or your kids are going through, if, if you can connect those struggles to somebody else's struggles, then you're going to work hard for them. And, and that's always what's motivated you to get into public service. Well, they brought it last time. Maybe they all buy it this time. Hey, hey, Sasha. Uh, bring me a bring me a script, a script I used in 2008. Maybe we can get old Joe to use it. Yep, get Joe to use it. Yep. Um. You know the way. I'm, you know that. <laughs> There's a longer clip, right? I'm not gonna play the longer clip. But they basically what they're trying to say. The 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 narrative is this: that Trump is a horrible individual who doesn't care about anyone except Trump. And how can that person be a leader, especially at a time when people really need somebody to care about people? They need someone who's more empathetic, someone who takes responsibility, someone who actually cares if people live or die, someone someone who wants to fight for people. Like that's the guy you want as president right now. So the whole idea is that, you know, and, it, and you can't have a strong economy if you got scared people. That was sort of also the message. I think it's an effective message for a certain segment of the population. And maybe they've done some type of calculations that show that they're going to need a certain segment. They're going to need some people to kind of peel off the Republican base or something. I mean, most, I, I, I believe that it's, this is a very partisan race, right? I don't see many Democrats folding it up and going to vote for Donald Trump over Joe Biden. Also, I'm, you know, so, but the play is, is there enough wiggle room? Is there enough that Trump has done wrong that Republicans, would, some Republicans would peel off and go for Biden? I just don't know because things have been so adversarial. Maybe, maybe, guys, if the fruitless Russia thing, because let's make some things, one thing clear, man. That whole wrong, that year and a half Russia probe, it wasn't set up to go after Papadopoulos and Michael Flynn. It was, the, it was aimed at Donald Trump. And I don't know if you notice or not, but Donald Trump is free as a bird. He's freer than a bird. He's freer than free lunch. He's free. And none of it stuck to him. And that's who it was for. So these people want to get a caveat that the Russia investigation yielded Michael Flynn and Roger Stone. And yeah, those are, that's not who it was for. The FBI didn't clap when they got Al Capone's driver or his bodyguard. They clapped when they got Al Capone. When the Democrats were forced to throw everything against the wall on Donald Trump to no avail, it furthered 
it further solidified Republicans to support Trump. Just out of spite, if anything else, for having to hear about it for a year and a half. 18 months is a long time to have to hear that Donald Trump is colluding with Putin for you to, at the end of the day, not have any evidence really to indict Donald Trump on that. And we know you don't, because if you did, you would have presented it. And all the bad things you can say about Giuliani and the rest of them doesn't matter because Donald Trump is the guy you were going after. So this method, right, this method, this strategy, this narrative that they're using right now, when they paint Donald Trump as horrible, not, lack of empathy, lack of compassion, no clear connection with other human beings, not the guy you want to come in and get a pep talk, not the guy you want during trying times. All true, I think, all valid. Valid and true. Okay? But, will it peel off votes for you? I don't think it will, Johnson, because you have so solidified Republicans with erroneous claims, claims you could not prove, wasted time, fundraised off it, inundated the media off it with your cronies at different news organizations, propaganda after propaganda to the point where hell just that they, they're just going to ride with them just because just because they're tired of you that's how I see it guys that's what I'm looking at I don't know how you feel about it that's how I see it and that's coming from somebody who doesn't particularly like Joe Biden is not excited about Joe Biden does not does not feel any way supportive of Joe Biden's presidency but is smart enough to recognize there are things that Trump is doing that they don't care for. If you're going to roll back Obamacare, you got to have something in this place. I have yet to hear Trump have a solution for health care. Donald Trump, the same guy who said he would. Where is it at? These things matter. Now, it may not matter to you. Maybe you have health coverage. What about people who don't have it like Tim Black? What about us? Okay. What about all the people in the Wolfpack who need it? All the people in the Wolfpack are paying... I have people in the Wolfpack paying almost $2,000 to cover their family right now. So the Obamacare is not great, but you got to have something to replace it. And Trump just wants to get rid of it without a replacement. So these things matter. We could go on and on about environmental issues. We go on and on, as I've told you many times, about the conservative judges. So it's not his jokes. It's not jokes about him. It's not just his tweets that are horrific, where he retweets people yelling words like white power and shit like that. It's not just that. It's things he's literally doing. He's literally doing. Him and his judges and his administration. Not just him, his administration as well. But will it be enough? Uh, yeah, I got to admit, Obama's still an old smoothie. Yo, hey, hey. Yeah, Joe, Joe, yo, Joe, Joe. He even walked in cool like Joe, Joe, Joe. But it doesn't have the same fact, effect it had with me in 08. You know? Maybe because now... I, now I know, like, oh, you talk good, yeah, okay. Yeah, like, now I kind of see through it. I'm like, wow, I can't believe I fell for that. Nice talk. That great delivery. I'm not going to fall for it again. But I guess it's the new people that don't know about it, the people that fell for it last time, the people that actually put a picture of MLK, put Obama next to MLK for what reason, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't get it. Anyway, uh, I guess, you know, we will track this story on out. We'll see how it goes. Expect more of this. Because it's, it's Obama and Biden versus Trump. And I don't care what the polls say, Biden going to need it. All right.